just gone seven o'clock, which is why I couldn't talk to you in the house, cause the, uh, the lady friend was still asleep. We're heading up today for a really bike-filled day. And I'm really, really excited for it because we haven't had one of these um, ever. We haven't had one of these ever. We're going to Scarborough first and that means hairy bobs again. We've got the BMX in the back. And then at 11 o'clock we're meeting a lad called Ben who got in touch with us on Instagram and wanted to ride. So we decided we'd drop in at Dolby Forest today, go ride with him. And then after that, we're heading back. I've got to wash the bike. I've got to get some actual work done for my actual job. to beat George to the skate park and as you've probably seen on the drive in it's a really really nice day so I want to show you something that's going to be an absolute game changer if you shoot any sorts of videos on a DSLR or even on a GoPro because you can get these on GoPros too That game changer for your videos that I was talking about, it's an ND filter. As you can see, today is totally blown out because it's a really, really nice day. And I've got the aperture set really low because I don't want the stuff in the background to be the focus. I want this guy to be the focus. Thank you, I'm trying to film a video here. Excuse the overexposure for a minute, but this thing is an ND filter. See how much better that is already. This one's a variable ND filter, so you can twist it and you get various shades of darkness yeah really dark <laughs> we stick this on the lens and look how much better it is already that's not even properly attached but look how much better it is already they're really really cheap let me put this on and then we not be overexposed so the ND filter is now on and it looks a lot better we can use the aperture for what it's supposed to be used for which is to put us in focus and the background less focus rather than having everything so sharp and it means that we can have still a low shutter speed which will make our motion blur look like normal. I am out of shot. <laughs> we were kneeled on some horrible astro turf, so it's not very comfortable. I'm not even sat down. But we, we use this in Spain quite a lot. It's very sunny in Spain. And if we hadn't bought it, well, we would have just come back with a lot of white footage. Yeah. If you're going somewhere you know it's going to be sunny, and even British summertime, yep. you're probably going to need it. I mean, we're using it today. It's what? Where's the date today? 22nd of March? 22nd of April. God. 22nd of April. 22nd of April. A whole month out. They're, they're really good. And I mean, I got mine for 20 quid. Yeah. Like Amazon. 18 quid or something and like that. mine planted a tree. I, I'll get mine out. Hang on. <laughs> we'll, drop a, we'll drop a link in the description below to our Amazon affiliate link. So if you buy there, we get like 7% of whatever you're buying. Doesn't cost you anything extra, but really does help us out on hosting. Here you go. Bye, Gobe. Gobe? Gobi? I don't know. I don't, I've never heard of them. They actually had great reviews online for the price. You know, this was 10% of the cost of what well, some people pay for it. Uh, Lewis bought the bigger one with a step-up ring. I was lazy and was like, well, I'm not going to buy another lens for a little while, so I just got this one. But it's great. NDX 2 to 400. Benefit of having an ND filter that's variable means that you can just twist it and it has a different darkness. You don't have to have a whole nother ND filter and carry in your bag four or five different ND filters. Just buy a variable one and then twist it. It saves you so much time and your footage comes out way, way better. Bye, thanks for watching.